With IDX integrated, you can present listings on your website to your future buyers. This is the first step that you should take right after logging in to place their platform for the first time. In this guide, I'll walk you through the process and answer the most common questions. Let's get started. From the dashboard, head to the IDX manager. Here you can find your current MLS contracts, how many websites are connected to them and their current status. From here, click the Request IDX button and fill out the form to submit your IDX request. Select the state, pick the requested MLS from the list and fill in the information required. We'll only use the broker's email address to send the IDX documents. It's a good practice to let your broker know to keep an eye out for documents they'll need to sign so that you can get your listings onto your site as soon as possible. After completing the form, you will notice at the bottom information about the IDX support fee. It is required to maintain the contract between you and your MLS. Users on starter and advanced plans are charged $5 monthly fee and users who are on the Office Builder plan will be charged $9 per month. This fee is charged per active MLS and only once the IDX contract is approved. The difference in price comes from the fact that as a broker on the Office Builder plan, all your agents associated with your account inherit access to your listings. IDX approval normally takes between 5 to 10 business days, but speed can be impacted by paperwork errors and delays in the response from your MLS. Ok, so what's next? In your IDX manager, you'll see that your MLS request is pending. You'll also receive an email from documentsrightsignature.com containing a link to sign the MLS agreement. After receiving signatures from you and your broker, we will contact MLS for their approval. In the meantime, you don't have to wait aimlessly. Use this time to build your website. We have amazing guides that will teach you step by step on how to use our customizer and build your dream website. After approving your IDX request, we'll reach out to you as soon as your listings are live on your site. You'll also find a notification in the tab. Now, all you have to do is launch your site. It is important to note that some MLS might have slightly different processes that require the agent to reach out to MLS directly or log in to an online portal to start the approval process. But don't worry, we got you covered. You will find the instruction on your next steps under the question mark in the IDX manager. We also encourage you to reach out to our support crew so we can navigate you through the process and make sure that it goes smoothly. Before we finish up, let's go through some frequently asked questions. Like, can I add multiple IDX feeds to my site? The answer is yes. If you are on the advanced or above plan, simply request a new IDX and add it to your website. I haven't received any IDX documents. What do I do? Reach out to our support team and we'll help you right away. If you have any questions regarding Playster, feel free to reach out to us. You can also find links to our extensive database with support articles in the description. I wish you good luck and see you in the next tutorial.